This cute little mink is part of a multi-billion dollar industry, and the reason is the ever-increasing demand for mink fur. The European farmers are estimated produce around 40 million mink hides annually. In Europe alone, there are over 5,000 mink farms. Every tasks on this farm are similar to the tasks that occur in mink farms in North America and across Europe. Most days are start with preparing the mink food. Before getting started on the task to feed the mink, the container used to deliver the food will be first cleaned and disinfected to prevent any bacteria from building up inside. A mixture of environmental-friendly bleach and water is used to hose down the container to ensure complete cleanliness. After the container is disinfected and cleaned, the feed is then transferred into a feed cart for feeding process. These finely ground protein and starchy food source ingredients are cheaper and more readily available from the leftover meats from the animal agriculture industry, providing a nutritious feed source for the minks. The feed is prepared with a mixture of beef, cheese, egg, fish or chicken meat which turned into a fine paste. Most of the protein came from byproducts, which are unfit for human consumption or otherwise it will be sent to landfill. This product are very similar to the pet food exist in pet industry. The feeding cart filled with food paste are now brought into the farm for feeding process. Mink's feeding then begin, with the feeding wagon facilitating distribution, with each mink given small amount put on top of the pens each morning. On some ranches, the minks even feed two or three times a day. Minks are customs to feed in this manner. Usually they will respond to the sound of passing cart. A mink's diet can be vary from farm to farm and also changes with the seasons when the female minx is pregnant. For example, the diet is slightly modified to meet different nutritional needs. There are some changes in fats and protein levels to meet seasonal demands. For example, they will be feed with high fat foods during lactation, but the ratio is changed so that they have less fat food in the winter before breeding. The feed is kept fresh and replenished daily and have a good consistency so it is neither dry and hard nor too wet to fall through the wire. Minks feed throughout the day, and if the food is left over, they will pick it up and clean it up. Minks also have a constant flow of water through pipe and nipples, all feeding and watering processes are checked and properly controlled, including the manure collection system. To ensure that the whole mink's farming process is environmentally friendly and clean, the manure is collected and taken to a composting facility where it is mixed with other material, such as milk manure, poultry manure, and other soil management which later will be processed into a fertilizer and this compost is then used to spread on the fields to grow crops. Minks breeding is seasonal. The breeding normally occur in late February or early March. During this time, most of the day is spent bedding the enclosure, a nest box will be put inside the pens where the female will have their litter of younger referred to as kits. And usually every minx will have six to seven kits. Youngs are born in mid-April or early May. The pen size are comfortable, which are replicates what would they have in the wild. They would have burrow holes where they will actually have their kits, the boxes are kept in divider, so it's smaller for them to keep their kits warm.
as the kits begin to grow, the nest box will be removed and the kits will be separated from their mother. The grown kits later will be placed in their own pens, which is a very easy process. Minks are moved in trap cages. From there they can be safely transported to another cage with their own ID card. As kits grow, they need to be thoroughly screened and vaccinated to protect them from common diseases. Informations about illnesses, medications, and treatment plans are recorded in ID cards attached in mink's pens. Mink's fur development begins in August, and the fur will be fully developed to its prime by November or December. and will be carefully evaluated for the harvest. Minks with the finest fur development will be graded and used for the next cycle of breeding process. The criteria for grading mink's pelt is always the same. First, minks are graded based by color type and gender, later, the length of the fur will measured, with finally, the color grading will be done. High quality fur is softer, much more lightweight, have shorter hair, shinier and the color is much more vivid. While the rest of many others will be set to harvest. Harvesting box for euthanizing will be filled with carbon monoxide, which is a very poisonous gas. The cart will be driven up and down the rows of the pens. And minks will be taken out of their pens and placed into the harvest box where they quickly put to sleep and euthanized. The cart are filled with the concentrations so when the minks are placed into it, they will be knocked unconscious and will continue to add gas throughout the process as adding the minks to the box. After the euthanizing process is complete, the minx remains this compost and everything is used. Farmed minx can be used not only for fur, but also provide high quality oils and fats for skin care and waterproofing leather, organic fertilizers, and also provides raw materials for a wide range of products from pets food, paints and even cosmetics. The skin is then later stretched and dried to increase the durability. Each skin will be then labeled with the information of the farm they were bred at. Minx pelt comes in many natural colors, such as black, mahogany, pastel, demi-buff, sapphire and white, each skin will be graded and labeled by tiers. All the processed skin will be sent to the packaging department before transported to the buyers. The value of the vintage minx coat depends on many factors, such as conditions, size, brand and quality. A small minx coat can sells under $300 or a top designer coats can sells over $10,000. Minx fur coats have dominated the luxury fur coat market for many decades. Since the early 1980s, minx coats typically cost between $9,000 to $60,000. However, the price of a full-bodied black Russian minx fur coat can exceed $400,000 or more.